Okay, so this is a grandmother clock, uh, made in Germany for the Emperor Clock Company. Um, it has three sets of weights. There's the main one for the escapement, second one for the chimes, and the third one for the this that tells what is night and day, but that's currently not working right now. Mm. And this clock's just been sitting up here for a while because the uh, there's a little piece of metal to attach the pendulum to the top of the escapement that had broken. Just been sitting for a while and it got all messed up and gunked out and it's been running for about two or three hours now with a... Uh, oh, sorry, something dropped. I replaced the piece of metal with a little sheet of copper. If you can see it. One second. There, there's a sheet of copper right there. Attached to the pendulum. And if you... There are two main chimes. These are the chimes that do the little song and these are the ones that go all four at once and um, it got all gunked up and messed up and so I got some sewing machine oil and uh, greased it up. Uh, you don't want to use anything thicker than sewing machine oil on these old clocks. Uh, friction's the main enemy with these things. And in a little bit, it's going to strike 11. So that'll be, um, I think it's 16 chimes with this and then uh, 11 with the main ones. This right here is what controls the little song. It's wheels with spikes on them and when they when it's the every 15 minutes uh, they rotate and move the hammers that strike the uh, gong uh, chimes I'm not sure what they're called uh, if it's the first 15 minutes it will go make it will ring four times and if it's uh, half an hour it will ring eight and then 12 and then 16 followed by the hour count and I actually did a stupid thing when I was first cleaning this out and cleaning all the dust off um, I took this off and I didn't know what pattern the wheels went into so it took me about an hour or something to get them back right. Um, they were still in alignment with each other. They just weren't in alignment with the hammers. And that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Uh, we're getting close. Mm. Yeah, so it's been running for about, I don't know, a couple of hours. Uh, I don't know how long that sheet of, cop of copper will last. When we first tried to fix this thing a while ago, uh, I don't know, I was nine at the time. My dad tried to fix it and he put a piece of tape there instead of a piece of metal and it broke within a day or so. Uh, let me show you the copper I used. It's this. It looks really thick, but... I hammered it out flat. Uh, must have spent like 10 minutes hitting a small piece of this with a hammer to get it to the point where it'd be soft enough to work in here. Uh, I also tried this before with different pieces of metals, but they were so stiff that the resistance um, stopped the clock within 5 or 10 minutes. And this has been running for a couple of hours, so I'd say it's going pretty good so far. Um, 
so that's pretty much it. You see it taking right there. And there's the thing for the hours. I mean for the tell you whether it's night or day, which I'm pretty sure is pretty obvious. Just look outside, but they included it there. It's an escapement of its own, I think, with its own weight. And I think it takes every 12 hours or something. Or it either takes one time an hour, or... I don't know. That has a certain amount of teeth and does math. or There's math involved, and I don't like math, so I'll be quiet for right now. Here we go. Okay, that is pretty much it. Uh, I might do a follow-up video. Uh, probably not, because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put the back on this and leave it running. But uh, either way, uh, thanks for watching.